Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on conditional logic. It says that uh, a showroom has exactly six new cars, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. They are equipped with at least one of the following three options, power windows, leather interior and sunroof. No car has any other options. So these are the only three options available and certain conditions are given to us. Okay, so let us formulate a driver. We have six cars. One. U V W X Y Z. Okay. V has power windows and sunroof. W has power windows and leather interior. W and Y have no options in common. So this automatically means that if W is this, then Y should be this. X has more options than W. So this also means that X will have three options. Okay. V and Z have exactly one option in common. So Z will have either this or this. We do not know about this. Okay. So we cannot determine for Z, but we know that, okay, this, either this or this, both are not possible for Z. Okay. U has fewer options than Z. Okay. So uh, now we know that uh, Z can have these uh, one of these two and most likely this one as well, right? So we will have Z two options because Z cannot have three options, right? Because uh, these two would be common with V and U will have one option because at least one option has to be present. Okay, so U will have one option and Z will have two options. Now, which option we do not know based on the conditions we have to answer. So, uh, first state, uh, first is which of the following must be false? Exactly five of the six cars have leather interiors. Okay. So, we know that, okay, only two cars thus far have leather interiors. We cannot have five cars with leather interiors. So, that is false one. Easy. That uh, the first option itself was false. Five of the six cars have sunroofs. Possible. We can have both of them as sunroofs. Exactly four of them have leather interiors. That is also possible if both of them have leather interior. Exactly four of the six cars have power windows. That is also possible. We will have only one of these cars having a power window. Okay, so all these are possible. This is not possible. Next question is if all the cars that have leather interiors also have power windows, which of the following must be false? So it says that if a car has a leather interior, then it should also have a power window, not the other way around. Okay. So if it has leather interior and also power window, right? So let us assume that uh, we know for these cars, we do not know for this, right? So uh, we cannot have a U with the leather interior because else it will have power interior also, but it should have only one option, right? So you cannot have this. Uh, Z, is it possible for Z to have leather interior? If Z has leather interior, right, it can have a power window also, right, uh, because that will make it uh, possible because it should have two options. But if suppose Z does not have a leather interior, okay, Z does not have a leather interior, power window can exist without leather interior also. If this is there, it has to have two options. It will have sunroof also because it has to have two options. Now, this contradicts this condition that V and Z have exactly one option in common. So that means this is not a possibility for Z. Z must have leather interior and power window, right? So as per this question, Z must have this. Uh, you can have any one of the three options. Now we, we see the options, which of the following must be false. U has power window. You may have power window because if you have power window, it does not mean that you need to have leather interior also. U has a sunroof. You can have a sunroof also, quite possible. V has power windows that is already given. So that was a vague option. Z has sunroof. We just proved that Z can have only these two options in that case and cannot have a sunroof. So that is a false option. Next one, suppose that no two can have the same option as one another. 
okay so no two can have the same options in that case each one of the following could be true except so all of them could be true except one of the options okay exactly three of the six cars have power windows so that is already there right z will not have a power window so that is possible exactly four of the six cars have power windows okay so let us give power window to this z have these two options possible right or z give a power window to z and one option to this so that is also possible exactly three of the six cars have sunroofs okay now already three cars have sunroofs suppose we say that these two don't, cars don't get a sunroof now what will happen that z should get these two then only it will have two options right if z does not have a sunroof then z must have these two now this will be exactly same as w it is given that no two can have the same options as one another so this is false this is not possible exactly four of the six cars have sunroofs possible right we will give sunroof to one of the cars let us say z or u anyone okay so that is the answer to this so we have a couple of more questions uh, let's just redraw the table so that we can answer these questions so u v w x y and z okay so power option uh, sorry power window leather interior and sun okay so uh, So that was the conditions. Now, uh, apart from this, we are given that if exactly four of the six cars have leather interiors and exactly four of the six cars have power windows, then each of the following must be true except. So four cars have leather interiors and four cars have power windows. So that means that if four cars have leather uh, uh, interiors, so that means these two have leather interiors okay and if four cars have power windows then this should have sorry z should have a power window so that is what we will get as the arrangement right now let us answer these questions u and v have no options in common okay u and v have no options in common that is true it is saying that which of each of the following must be true except so we have to find which is a false statement in this right so they already have uh, no options in common u and y have no options in common u and y no options in common again true w and z have exactly one option in common w and z okay, w and z have two options in common so that is a false one u and z exactly one option in common u and z one option in common that is true so this is the false one okay all right next question says that suppose the condition requiring that x has more options than w is replaced by a new condition requiring that x and w have exactly two options in common if all the other original conditions remain in effect which of the following must be false now what does this mean that x has more options than w so we said that x has all three features but if it is replaced by a new condition that x and w have exactly two options in common okay so that means that w has these two options if they have exactly two options in common, that means uh, X will have power window, X will have leather, in, leather interior, but we can't say anything about the sunroof part. It may have, it may not have. Right? We, that is not a mandatory thing now. Because if it has, then also it will. they will have two options in common. If it does not have, then also they will have two options in common. So the condition becomes this. We do not know that whether X has a sunroof or not. Now let us see the questions u and x have no options in common right u and x have no options in common which of the following must be false it says right uh, maybe true we can have u power window or this maybe true right and z have the other two options so we cannot say that it is false uh, v and x have exactly one option in common yes if x has these two they will have one option in common so again that is possible uh, v and x have exactly two options in common now this is a tricky part here because one might consider that 
uh, X does not have a sunroof, right? Because if you read this, you think that, okay, it has uh, two things in common. So that means uh, X cannot have a sunroof. But as I said earlier, that it might mean that X also has a sunroof, okay? So V and X can have two options in common. So that is also a possibility. So that's a trap here. Uh, understanding the statement was important. So X and Z have no options in common. Okay. Now X has at least two things. Z has two options. So Z either will have these two, right? Or these two or these two. Z. So they are bound to have one option in common because X has at least X has at least two features. Okay. And Z will have also at least two features. So they there cannot be a possibility that they do not have any option in common. So there must be at least one option in common in both of them. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.